you said something about the necessity of failure versus the prevention of failure that that really stood out to me where you know lots of governments want to prevent failure because they think they will lose face or something i don't know like they think failure is not good but yeah so you argue that preventing failure in economies has led to significant consequences like can you can you expand a bit on this idea that failure yeah, is and, critical and, and i think there's a lot of people that believe they live in a free market capitalism hmm. um and and i so i would say a couple of my really close friends going through this that are very very wealthy in real estate and they became really real wealthy in real estate because of, of a manipulated system that pushes up re re real estate at the expense of productivity um, and people and they're storing their value in real estate um, and they're somewhat protected from money being destroyed. And so, and they think that it's a free market and they're so mad when the government comes in and says, um, we're going to regulation, rent controls, everything else are like crazy uh, math. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, on the art, on, if, if it's a free market and we stop printing money, what happens to real estate? Like it's, you just stop today. What happens to real yeah. estate? And let it keep stopping and says, let's walk through that. Um, and, and so they see real estate starts falling. Then it fall, falls more. Every bank fails. Real estate, real estate fails like almost to zero. All of their debts fail, all of their life, all of their wealth fails. Um, and, th and then they say, well, that will never happen. Then do we live in a free market? Right. And, and so it's like, it, it's, it's crazy to me that people can't put these together because but what does end up is happening is then they'll make a justification for it's almost free. Hmm. Without seeing the negative yeah, externality, because you profited from it. Of exactly. course, you say that. Without, yeah, of course. without seeing, without what seeing else would you say? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Without seeing the negative externalities <laughs> of mm. that, almost free. And so now you have a control system. Yeah, that that looks a lot like communism. Capitalism and communism are the same thing under printed money. Yeah. Well, the government controls you, obviously. Well, it controls your thoughts or your wants and your needs, it's like a, you and, said. And, like and, the... and, as a, and as artificial intelligence accelerates and should make productivity flow to everybody faster in the form of lower prices, mm -hmm. the government has to consolidate more and more and take away more individual rights and freedoms to be able to control you. And, yeah. and, and it's crazy to me that people can't see this coming. Because it's Is that so... because they cannot allow you to access this? Too no, much because if, if, if prices fall from a debt-based system, so when people say yeah. deflation is bad, they're saying deflation is. They're not saying they're not finishing the sentence. They're mm. saying deflation is bad from a debt-based system because the debt gets more expensive and it and, and it goes insolvent. Yeah. So they're not finishing the sentence, or they're mm. not saying. Or, and people aren't asking, well, it, if I vote every day through my time to get more value, and I I choose things every day to get more value. How is deflation yep. bad? It services me. So the free market in that case ensures that the entire world gains that productivity, not a couple people in the world hmm. um, that are extracting it from everybody else. So how do your friends react when you when you talk through this? When like when you say like is there actually free market, they defend it a bit no, and then Yeah, most of my most of my friends are now Bitcoiners. <laughs> but it takes, um, yeah. but, um, and I'm, I'm some of my friends that had a hard time coming around to this, um, because I would just keep on questioning from where they were. And mm -hmm. then, and then when they saw that they, um, and I didn't do it in, in, in a mad way or anything else. I just asked them to solve the paradox themselves. And then eventually as they couldn't yeah. solve the paradox, they started to realize, huh, I need to put more, more of my time over here. Yeah. Makes sense. So when you talk about how advancing technology is inherently deflationary, uh, in the article, you, you, you show how it conflicts with an inflationary monetary policy, right? It's basically yep. also what we just mentioned. They don't want to fail. So how does Bitcoin fit into an economy where technological process drives prices down? Like, is this finally the thing in which we should measure technological advancement does that make sense like like because yeah, it makes it deflationary and if we measure it in bitcoin then that is that is the match that's it it, it, it um people talk about the uh, 
AI singularity where, where all AI is smarter than all of us and do and robots are doing all of our work. Can you imagine yeah. that AI singularity in a world where prices are, are, are supposed to rise? Yeah, that makes no sense. Does it make no. any sense? No. Like, why do we no. create why do we create technology? We create it to save our time. Yeah, and exactly. the productivity from it should flow to uh, to us. It's just yeah. it can't from the existing system. So so these two systems so it's are sabotage moving. is technological advancement. And, the, and then right? what and then and then what happens with all of the people stuck in the wrong system? What they do is they get moved to fear and it's easy to convince them that it's somebody else's fault. It's easy to convince mm -hmm. them that it's the Democrats fault or it's the Republicans fault or, yeah. or it's, it's Ukraine's fault or it's Russia's fault or it's Israel's fault. It's easy to convince and they will grab or it's the environment. They will grab on the thing they care about and yeah. yell at everybody on the other side of that and make the whole thing stronger.